Hi, this is Maggie. Today I'm talking about the sign Cancer. Cancerians are moon child, moon children. Um, yeah, so Cancerians are from June 20, actually June 21st, the sun just stationed in Cancer, but June 22nd to July 22nd. Uh, it's Cancer there, ruled by the crab, ruled by the moon. And they can be a little moody, uh, sweet, and sensitive. And they can be very solid, very extremely loyal. They've got your back. Uh, intuitive. They're full of empathy, compassion. Uh, think of Princess Diana. Yeah, she was a wonderful woman. Uh, Selena Gomez. I did her chart, and I found her endearing. You know, the... The sensitivity of her cancer just kind of shone through. Um, yeah, so cancer is represented by the crab for like, a few reasons. They hold on tight to what they have, and at times when they're hurt, they, they'll retreat into their shell. And just, you know, they, because they're so sensitive, they can, they need, they feel a need to protect themselves. Um, yeah. So cancers, cancers can be, they can be moody. They can be moody. They could, you know, be a little crabby, but the way to their stomach, they're ruled by their stomach. The way to their heart is through their stomach. They're pretty much obsessed with food. They talk about it all the time. Um, yeah. Just planning their next meal or the, just, always seem to be hungry um, or they you know it rules the fourth house the home so it's about redecorating the home they love to redecorate anything about the home they like to just chill at home uh, have a good meal at home they might love to cook they certainly love to eat they like good food um, but a cancer since they are ruled by the moon the moon is women represents women. So a Cancer will be very full of empathy as a good friend. You know, they may have a lot of, say if you're a cancer, cancer woman, you would have a lot of sensitivity and maybe a lot of women friends that you could relate to. Um, yeah. So it's a cardinal sign. It's on the angle. So the angles are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and the opposing sign is um, Capricorn. So Cancer Capricorn is kind of a different, difficult match because they are in opposition, but sometimes they attract each other. Opposites attract. Um, they can, yeah, their their feelings. So they're so sensitive. Their feelings can get hurt, and they can be a little crabby when they're you know, moody, um, but they get, they get over it, but overall they're very kind, very kind, sensitive. Nur Cancer is the nurturer, the, like the mother, you know, the nurturer of the zodiac, and it's full of empathy, compassion, intuition. Um, they'll almost anticipate your needs before you even, you know, you don't even need to speak. Um, they could be charming. They love to dress, you know, dress up. They're funny as hell. Think of Lucille Ball, the great comedian. You know, she had a wacky sense of humor. So Cancerians just out of the blue can just, you know, just really uh, crack you up. It's a feminine sign. So they're very feminine, can be a little passive, um, but they're very strong. They're very strong. Don't let the don't let that fool you. You know the passivity of cancers because they are very very strong. It, um, <clears throat> yeah, the the moon. You know the, the different sides of the moon. Somebody said you know that they're ruled by Lilith, you know, when, when the moon is in the dark phase, Lilith. 
Uh, yeah, but you just, yeah, it, it depends on the cancer. It depends on so many. You can't just generalize a sign like that, you know. Um, water signs, though, are extremely psychic, intuitive, and sensitive. And so you, you don't want to hurt cancer's feelings. Their feelings are so easily hurt, and they wear their feelings on their sleeve. If you have a cancer moon, cancer ascendant, um, cancer sun, you know, you're going to be, you know, love food for one thing, and nurturing, empathy, um, be a great friend, great listener, um, very skilled at that. But at the same time, you need, um, you need a time to recharge, recharge your batteries because your, your feelers are always out, you know, a lot, a lot, I'll just ignore that phone, a lot like Pisces, they always have your feelers out, and so you would need, a, a, sorry, I didn't turn my phone off, <clears throat> you would need that time to, um, to decom decompress, you know, and come back to your, it'll shut off in a minute, <laughs> Come back to your, um, to yourself. But all the water signs kind of need a timeout. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, too. Because they are so full of empathy and they're so psychic and so in tune with everything. They pick up everyone's energy around them. They can sense your mood before you even walk into a room. And so they're, they're so busy picking up everyone's auras and energies that... It can drain them. It can drain them, and then they need to to go within and recharge, you know. And they do that, you know, by chilling at home or cooking or, you know, maybe just they just want to laze around and sleep, you know, hang out in their sweats or whatever. Um, I think walking by water, though, would be so good for, you know, Walking by water, by the ocean, picking up rocks, having fish and chips. <laughs> but cancers definitely need a good friend. They need a good friend. They like to be around nurturing females um, because they're ruled by the moon. You know, they get along great in friendships. And, you know, if they do get a little moody, they get over it. They get over it. It's the, mut the mutability. You know, they are cardinal, but they're also changeable. You know, they're changeable. But at the same time, they're very stable and loyal, extremely loyal. A cancer will have your back. They will be there for you. Um, yeah, they're very, very loyal people and solid. They're solid. The ones I know, they're solid. Um, and they're very intelligent. And, you know, Rockefeller was a baker. He was, a, I think he was in charge of Wells Fargo, but he started a bank. So they're very, they're very good with money, uh, comedy, cooking, you, you name it. I mean, a cancer woman or man can pretty much do anything. Having their own restaurant, though, or their own grocery outlet, <laughs> grocery store, uh, be great for them. Uh, yeah, start a Greek restaurant, um, have a food blog, you know, I mean, you don't have to be a foodie necessarily, um, but they do like to be near the water, and friends are all important to them, they know, they want to know someone's in their corner to nurture them, and they want to be, feel loved and nurtured, and if they don't feel that, you know, it, it, can really bring them down you know they need to they need they need to be cuddled and they need lots of love lots of hugs lots of physical expression of, of love um, yeah they, they need that they need to be told they need to be told and they need to be shown and the way to show love might just be to hang out with them and let them talk or you know, hang, chill out and watch Netflix with them. And, um, put your arm around them or just give them a hug, you know, because they need lots of cuddles. Yeah. 
So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.